Hello everybody and welcome to uh, Summer Offensive uh, for Bolt Action. Uh, this list is going to be 500 points and the way I'll do this uh, series is going to be uh, four games for one for the series, one per month and then each game will have a uh, accompanying uh, video for my army list and in the main video I will put a quick overview of my own list and uh, my opponent's list as well. So my 500 point list consists of British because I thought I'd try something different rather than using my Germans. And first off here we have a second lieutenant with a buddy. He is regular and both either have rifles or submachine guns. I haven't decided which, I would decide on the night. This cheeky chap here is the British Free Forward Artillery Observer. He is by himself, he is regular. And once again, either pistol, well not pistol, rifle or a submachine gun. This unit here is a squad of seven man regulars with just rifles. They are regulars. So like they are veterans. Uh they come to ninety one points and they will be uh just to either put some pins down, hopefully get a few kills, or to grab objectives if they need to. This squad here is identical. This uh squad here is a seven man squad of Gurkhas, which come to ninety eight points. Uh he's free and they come to sixty points as well. But uh, these guys have Tough Fighters and Scary Blighters, which double their own attacks and have the opponents uh, rounding down, I believe. I will have to uh, double check that. Over here, we have a veteran airborne sniper team. So, if anything uh, can come up, uh, I can take them out. So... Machine gun teams, mortar teams, other snipers, NCOs, special weapons, that sort of thing, then I can do so. Here I have a boys anti-tank rifle team. Uh, they are also veteran, I believe. They are, checking my uh, army list. They are veteran, come at 39 points. The sniper team comes up at 35 points. Uh, in fine, for this round, I'll only be facing infantry. But I thought I'd stick him in anyway, because I figured that if the sniper misses, then hopefully he won't, as he is a cheap sniper. And with a plus two penetration, then he can uh, kill things on a three plus, two plus, whatever. And then if he survives, he can uh, carry on serving the good British cause. <clears throat> Here, we have... A inexperienced heavy mortar team. Uh, where the base that with well, the part of the base that is grassed is where it is. I haven't yet got around to trimming it down yet. Uh, this guy is the fourth crewman. The guy over here is the spotter. So that comes to a total of 500 points, spot on. There's a little bit of HE. I can lay down some pins from long range while everyone else gets up close. These guys are just going to charge and try and take out anything and everything. Uh, those guys can fire or capture objectives. Uh, this unit will support the two rifle squads and he can either be a free rifle unit or free rifleman rather or he can put, call down his artillery barrage my British national rule is blood curling charge so that's to aid the Gurkhas primarily however it will also potentially help uh, this these units here and that means that whenever a regular or a veteran unit charges, my opponent can't reaction fire. So I have a nice healthy 12 inch charge range. 
And that's really it for this uh, first quick video, I suppose. There's nothing really else to it. Uh, 750 points. There will be a few surprises in that. Uh, that will come out next month, as well as a battle report on that. This series will head will start from 500 points, then to 750, a thousand, and then finally capping out at 1250. Uh, 500 points is infantry only. 750 is anything but tanks, and then a thousand. And 1250 is when we'll start seeing a lot of uh, armour and horrific lists coming through. So that's it for this video. Okay, I'll let you know for my uh, thoughts of the game. And uh, thank you very much for watching this. And I'll see you next time.